great. Here we go, fast times at Ridgemont High. We're going back to the track. Second time this week, we're going for a run. Um, so this one's a little bit different format. You're gonna need to, on your timer, you're gonna need to set up four five minute rounds. So you can either, on the SmartWatt app, you can go into EMOM and you can change that from one minute to five minutes and you'd have four rounds or you could go into four five minute AMRAPs, no rest in between, okay? Um, the goal here in this workout is it's a real, I, I'm really looking for you to push pace. This is one where I want you to not jog, I want you to run, okay? 200 meters run, come back. Once you're done your 200 meters, right? You grab your two dumbbells and it's 20 dumbbells shoulder to overhead. So we've got them gripped here. We can strict press, right? I wouldn't recommend that. We can push press, right? So we're here, locking up those legs at the top. To finish that rep, those arms have to lock, right? We can't just do these and not lock out those arms at the top. We want full extension, okay? The other motion that we have is our push jerks, which is, right? So the arms get the full extension and then we stand it up. 20 reps, okay? Big thing there is we wanna make sure we're using our legs, get hip extension so we can drive that core to extremity, get that dumbbell propelled over our head. That's why I don't recommend strict, okay? So you'll do 20 of those, focus on breathing, and don't necessarily go with a light dumbbell. It should be a challenging dumbbell. You shouldn't be able to just pop all 20 reps out unbroken. It should be a little bit more challenging than that. Okay, you've done your 20 reps. Then you pick up your skipping rope and it's 80 double unders. Okay, if we don't have our double unders, then we're gonna work through 80 penguins, right? And if we don't have our penguins going there, what we can do is we can take our skipping rope and we can do 160 reps, okay? So you'll do all that work. It's probably gonna be two and a half to three minutes. You will have two minutes to recover. You will write your working time down and then you will repeat. So you only do that work once, take your rest. When the timer goes again on your next round, do all that work again. This should be an all out effort, okay? This should jack heart rates up. This is an all out cardio workout. So good luck with fast times at Ridgemont High. Your score is your total working time. I would love to see some 10s, 10 to 12s in there. So good luck.